hello welcome to external star channel my name is marek and today i will be unboxing other diecast models but this time it will be a little bit uh smaller because i have here those 1 to 43 buragos and uh also some of them which are already unboxed and then i have some pressures uh very expensive models also 1 to 43 which are much more expensive than those Buragos. And today I want to show you or tell you why this is 10 times more expensive than, for example, this one, okay? So let me start with a little bit of introduction. So I'm not collecting those 1 to 43 because they don't have enough details, okay? So they lack details, nothing can be opened. And uh, honestly, I think uh, for collectors uh, who, uh, who want to take it seriously, this is just not the right option, okay? So now maybe um, let me start with some Buragos, like here. Uh, let me first unbox those two, which are brand new. Uh, it's a new uh, Bugatti uh, Chiron and Renault Clio. Okay, so two cars, one from France, the second, I don't even know when, where this is produced, but definitely uh, they both should be unboxed right now. So I will start with this Renault Clio, and I'm not even careful this time, because why should I be careful? You know, do you know how much is one of them? Each of these uh, models or toys, maybe more toys, is actually uh, like one, two or three euros, depending on where you buy them. And this one, uh, I think this one was really two euros. And I bought them today just to show you uh, how small they are and how, uh, how beautiful or not so beautiful they are as well. Okay, so uh, I will just put them here. Then I will also unbox this Bugatti and, okay, at least, I should not destroy the box just right away. Okay, I will I will try to be careful as much as I can, but all right, all right, here we go. So this Bugatti, normally, normally this one in this size would be like I don't know 50 to 100 euro from a company like Kyosho or something like that. Okay, maybe also Auto Art or close to 100 euro. But here, Burago, this company is producing uh, these like in really mass series, like, I don't know, thousands or even tens of thousands. I don't even know, I, my estimate could be completely wrong. But w what I'm trying to tell you is that they really produce a lot of them. On the other hand, manufacturers like Auto Art, they produce like thousands, yeah, not hundreds of thousands. And this one actually, yeah, it's quite, quite beautiful. But for that price, can you see? Uh, and let me already use my tool here. So let me start with this Burago. And this one doesn't have anything perforated here, okay? So this is just not perforated here, the front grille. Then uh, here, the Bugatti logo. It's also not really visible, you know? So even if I uh, really focus on that, it's still not visible. And then uh, also the lights here, okay? So the lights are not, not really uh, what I would like them to be. So yeah, not so bad, but I would say it can be a little bit better. And then uh, at least this uh, nice shape is still here uh, with a nice gray color. And now, please, apologies. Uh, I need to drink a little bit of coffee, okay, to sustain this terrible review. Hmm. Yeah, much better than the model. Okay, and now here, uh, the license plate here says Chiron. And we can see also this EB, which is for Bugatti. Uh, the color or the paint quality itself, it's not so terrible, uh, but sometimes you see that, for example, here, between the parts uh, where you see the gap, the color is uh, much lighter than anywhere else. So also the paint quality, it, it's not consistently painted. And uh, yeah, also what I have, some complaints about uh, 
uh, are the wheels not the wheels itself but how they are connected yeah so sometimes uh, when I press the car like this uh, they can break okay it's also very soft so you see it can be anywhere it, I can even turn the rear wheels like <laughs> no way it shouldn't be like that so overall yeah not so bad I mean for two euros this is incredible look at that this car for just two euros would you would you like to have it or not so if you are planning to collect really maybe hundreds of them and you don't have space then one to 43 scale is really the greatest option for you but for me as a real enthusiast uh, this is just not good enough because it's too small I cannot open anything also when I'm reviewing cars I'm actually focusing more uh, on 1 to 18 scale because these models are just you know too tiny to be uh, reviewed and I cannot really even if I shoot them somewhere outside or in my light box these are just too small and they don't look realistic on those pictures okay so you can still say this is just a toy and this is actually why today I also have something else, which is this Ford Mondeo, which is already uh, 10 times more expensive. And you can also see how much more detailed this car is. And I will not even uh, take it out of the glass box because I want to keep it there. It's one of my favorite cars and I want to have it in perfect shape. I will never open it. And I will tell you the reason why. Um, the reason is that this was actually my first car that I owned in real life. Okay, so this is why it's so precious. Okay. And people who ask me consistently, what was the first car you were driving? It's this one. Okay, and now I also have this one because this is what I'm driving right now. It's a Skoda Superb Combi, and one to eighteen, I was only manage. I, I was only able to find uh, one to eighteen the sedan, uh, but here uh, one to forty three, I was able to find really the same as I have, and this is the Combi or shooting brake, depending on where you are. Um, and this is really really precise look at that look at that front grille incredibly detailed i like it so much this is really really nice also the skoda logo it's you know it's so small like look at that maybe uh here the logo it's so tiny huh, maybe let me take it out of the box for the first time in history okay just just for a few seconds i don't want any dust to be there but to show you this how great this model is also the wheels you can see the brake discs you can see the real rubber you can see all the trims everything shiny the metallic color the paint is just incredible also the lights how uh, precise they are yeah everything is really uh, superb on this superb and this is why I like it so much okay so back to the box uh, immediately because um, it has some real value for me okay so I have these two cars here just to show you uh, that you can be collecting these if you mean it seriously even in this small scale 1 to 43 and then of course you can collect these if you don't have uh, a budget for um, let's say more expensive models and um, yeah maybe also uh, if you have children that uh, like playing with those toys uh, these cannot be destroyed so easily okay so if you buy something expensive then you would be really crazy about uh, your children destroying the expensive models but on the other hand if you buy this one then it's it should be okay so this Renault uh, doesn't look so bad but I will tell you some details on why these models are a little bit cheaper so for example here the wheels are not perforated nothing you know so it's one solid piece with some uh, paint over it which is like simulating uh, the look of a real uh, nice alloy wheel but here actually you don't see any brake disc you don't see brake calipers you basically don't see anything uh, on this Skoda that I showed you everything was perforated and you were able to see everything so here uh, it's less parts uh, also here you can see this front grille actually uh, they just painted here a part of the piece in black color 
Yeah, and it's not even precise. So, for example, if you if you look here, you can see that somewhere it's uh, red, somewhere it's black, and for uh, real collectors like me, uh, this is something not acceptable. Okay, not not really acceptable. I'm sorry for that. Sorry to say that. Um, but also, one once again, the purpose why why you are uh, buying Buragos and why why you are uh, buying some Kyoshio Auto Art, etc. Uh, there is a different purpose. So here you buy them to maybe have a lot of them. Uh, each of them on the other side if you buy expensive you are uh, you are good if you have maybe just 10 of them but they are really great and you can you can be staring at them all day long and it will still be a great experience and that, that's all about what it is a great experience for a collector so you can really uh, enjoy the car and here again so the glass yes yeah? so maybe here there is a huge gap between the glass also the doors cannot be open here this part is uh, should be maybe gray or black but it's red like everything else yeah maybe also this part here uh, could be in different color so everything is like uh, let's do it very quickly let's do it quickly like look at this glass here yeah it's maybe too big and you can see how it's connected so actually uh, if I cut this car half and half, you will see that this glass, this glass, all the glass is also connected to the front uh, front lights. So it's all one piece, which is somehow uh, pushed inside of this uh, second piece, which is uh, the chassis, which is red. And then they paint uh, some symbols over it, like for example here, this... Uh, this is just a sticker, it's not a separate part. And on those expensive, this logo would be definitely a separate part, it would be fully 3D and it would be more beautiful, of course. And then you can also open uh, the hood, not like on this one where you cannot do it. Uh, all right, and also um, they usually have uh, the bottom flat, yeah, so it says here always Burago, which is the manufacturer, then Renault, Clio, and 143 made in China, and then there is a serial number. I'm, I'm not sure if this is actually um, the serial number of all the Re Renault Clios, or if this is the number of this specific model. Uh, okay, so not sure. Otherwise, I would know that they produce at least 11,000 of these. Yeah. And this is what I said in the beginning, it's really 10 tens of or even hundreds of thousands produced. Okay, so here 11901, this one was 11904, okay, so it could be probably the new series here, 11825. Uh, and this is actually 2017 Nissan GTR. Yeah, it's also very nice. Uh, I bought this one because it was also two or three euro and um, I don't know what I will do later with them. Um, this one is already a little bit scratched and now I have them especially to, to show you uh, how they look like and what this is all about. Okay, so here again, uh, the gas door. You can see here uh, some kind of circle, but you, you are not really sure what this is all about. Okay, and then I have uh, two more here and just look at them here. Okay, so <laughs> those are some Ferraris. Uh, and the interesting fact is uh, that I got these actually from a Shell, uh, Shell station, which is the gas station. And they had this uh, promotion that uh, every time when you uh, buy gas from them, uh, you get some points. And if you have enough points, then they give you those uh, Buragos and actually you cannot buy them anywhere else. It was used only for this uh, promotional Campaign, okay, I need to tell you something. I actually uh, Borrowed this one uh, for my son. Okay, so this is why it's so dirty and uh, you can see How he already uh, managed to to destroy some of the paint parts and This one still looks quite okay but one thing I can tell you, uh, with these Buragos, uh, I can buy it to my son, but uh, 
uh, with those expensive 1 to 18, I would never let him even touch it. Trust me, if he touches 1 to 18 model, I would be so mad like never before. Okay, so this is quite a nice car, isn't it? Um, even, I mean, this glass here, uh, it's already a little bit dirty and here uh, also when you check uh, those seats the front seats and of course there are no there is no uh, second row of the seats you can also check that this is only one piece like the whole interior is one piece of plastic the whole exterior is one piece of die cast metal probably um, and then we have the bottom which is another piece of plastic everything connected with here two screws and that's how Burago is managing uh, to take the cost so low eh? so this is how they are doing that and actually here you can see that sometimes they are using screws to connect it which I appreciate a lot and sometimes there are no screws and they are just using uh, the license plate as a connecting point okay so it's not visible on this one maybe ah, here so for example they push this license plate like this inside and it's connecting actually then uh, the chassis to the to the bottom sometimes when they use screws like on this limited series used for the promo campaign it's much better I think so I have this Ferrari 365 GTB4 uh, in gray, uh, it's sorry, green color, and you can already see uh, that it's damaged here. Yeah? And I don't really care because <laughs> what, like, why not? You know, it can be damaged, and I don't care so much because um, it was almost for free. Yeah? I wouldn't, I would take gas anyway. So. Uh, I got this for free and I also don't have any huge relationship to this one like you know if I find this one with a scratch on it caused, caused by anything I would be really mad furious I would be crazy and this means a lot to me I have some personal connection and this is why you are collecting cars as well okay so don't buy something just because I don't know uh, somebody else has it or because it has a nice color. Buy it because it reminds you of something, okay? It reminds you some memories you have connected to this car. And it will be always like, for me as a collector, it has much more value if I can like uh, recall some good memories or something which is attached to the car. And for example, if even if this one is Bugatti Chiron and really, really a beautiful car, then uh, I can tell you that it has almost zero uh, emotional value for me, almost zero. Yeah. And for example, previously uh, I showed you all the different 1 to 18 uh, black limousines and these actually have a lot of value for me because one day I want to be driving one of those either S-Class, MW7 or maybe Audi A8. Okay, there are not so many options out there, maybe Lexus, but ha ha ha. And uh, here, I, th I think even if some people can appreciate this and some people like sports cars, I'm more focused on uh, the F segment uh, in the car industry. Okay, so overall, let me just drink a little bit of coffee because my, my uh, voice is uh, a little bit damaged today, okay? Mm. good okay all right i can continue now and i don't want to just extend this video i want to show you real things and talk about the good points okay so once again ah my mondio okay so uh, this is what it is uh, i will just put those two back to the shelves and then with those five um i don't know Maybe, maybe, you know, uh, you can ask me some questions about those and you can also uh, let me know in the comments what you think about uh, Brago models. So uh, I have those five here now and maybe uh, the most beautiful one is, is of course this one because it's so wide and big and uh, exotic. Um, but actually all of them are just Buragos. So please 
let me know in the comments are you collecting Burago models yes or no and also are you maybe interested in 1 to 43 uh, scale reviews or um, shall I continue purely 1 to 18 which is also uh, my desire of course <laughs> but they are also a little bit more costly so you know I cannot review uh, every week a new 1 to 18 model because I would go broke quite soon so this is why I, I selected this time also 1 to 43 because it costs almost nothing and even if I'm now looking for a sponsor who would uh, provide some cars for review sometimes I still need to buy my own to show you uh, all the quality and quirks and features thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed today's video uh, which was a little bit different in compared to the previous ones i hope you still enjoyed and next time i promise that i will again bring something a little bit bigger thanks for watching and bye bye